Hello everyone this is Atul today i am explaining the doppler effect in general form and in the next video in the mathematical form guys many time you may have observed along the road that a car at high speed approaching you or going away from you changes its sound this is one of the example of doppler effect in this figure there are two things first is a car which is at rest initially and second thing is a man which is acting as a observer of sound emitted by the car now friends i will define what doppler effect is so basically it is the increase or decrease in the frequency of sound or light wave due to the relative motion between the source observer or the medium so it means when there is any motion between the source observer or the medium meaning if it is if the medium is also moving then there is also a doppler effect here the medium is at rest so there is no change in the frequency observed by the stationary observer but when the source started to move away then the frequency at various points like at this point at this point will change so due to this there is a occurrence of doppler effect in various areas of science doppler effect is used as a tool to investigate the nature it is used in astronomy for redshift calculation of a star here we are seeing a star moving away from us and moving towards us in this process the color of light which is a star emitting changes and it is based on the doppler effect we are also seeing a policeman using a meter which is a radar based meter and uses the doppler effect for the calculation of the speed of the cars which is on the road uh, doppler effect is also used in the ultrasound machines which is useful for taking the image of the inner side of the body so overall the doppler effect is used in various scientific technologies and it is a very useful kind of knowledge as this is a video about the doppler effect of sound and as we know sound is a mechanical wave and it depends on the medium for its propagation and uh, uh, if there is any relative motion between the medium and the observer or the source then there is a difference between the observed frequency and the frequency which is emitted by the source now we will see why doppler effect works as we know the frequency of a wave is equal to number of oscillations per second as let us take there is a source which is stationary the number of oscillations per second will be this much as this source started to move closer to a stationary observer then the number of oscillations per second will increase so in this case the observed frequency will be higher than what is the emitted frequency and in the similar situation when the source started to move away from a stationary observer then the observed frequency will be lower than the original frequency so this is the reason why doppler effect is observed Thank you friends for watching our video in the next video i will describe the mathematical form of the doppler effect and please subscribe our channel for the useful information like this thank you